In this movie, we're going to take a look at UV mapping. This is our third movie on UV mapping, and we're going to pick up again uh, where we left off from part two, where we're laying out the UVs on our crow model. And we've already laid out the wings, and in our last video, we laid out the leg and the toe. And let's switch over to our UV texture editor. And we'll zoom out here. Went ahead and laid out the UVs for the rest of the crow's left foot. We got all of the toes there and of course that little end cap of the end of the toe itself. Used the same process as we did with the back toe. We just selected faces, did a cylindrical map. Then for that little extra extension, we did a planar map and then move and sewed those pieces together with a final finish by using the unfold tool to smooth those UVs out. Now those are the toes and the leg, but we still have some pieces that make up the actual foot. So let's switch back and we'll go to our split screen here again and let's set this up. I'll go to panels, panel, UV texture editor. We'll open that window and let's focus in on our crow foot and we'll just frame that up. I'm going to select all of the faces that I have here for the foot and the leg. And what this will do is reveal to me all of the other areas of this leg that are unmapped. And we can see we just have a few out there that need UVs. What I can do from this point then is hold shift. Let's zoom out. Hold shift to do an invert on my selection. And then that way. I'm left with a perfect selection of just the faces that I still need. Now to project these, let's go full screen here. I'm going to use a different mapping method that we haven't used at yet. And we'll go to Create UVs, and I'll choose Automatic Mapping. Let's open up the options here and take a look. We really want to use our default setting, so I'm just going to reset mine just to make sure. But what this is going to do is create multiple planes for us automatically and place them around our selection. You could kind of think of this as if you were to do this manually, you'd be selecting faces and doing a planar projection five or six times or, or even more in order to get all these different planes. So automatic mapping will just do all of those individual planes for us. And if we choose six planes, it's more or less going to give us a cube that will project in. And there, our selection there is, is somewhat of a cube. We've got almost six sides to our selection. And we've just got fewer pieces here. This doesn't matter a whole heck of a lot because we kind of go in anyways and use our unfold and our, our smooth tools. And we use move and sew in order to break it up so that we can get exactly what we want. So I really don't care too much, either less distortion or fewer pieces. If we were doing this on a much larger area, that might make a difference. But again, we just have a few pieces out there, so it's not going to matter a whole lot. And we'll go ahead and choose Project. And you can see that manipulator that it adds there, kind of a cube-like shape. And we'll look at those in our UV Texture Editor. And we get pretty good layout there. I'm going to select all those UVs, and we'll drag those off into empty space, and then we'll frame those up. So now I have all these individual pieces here. My next step is to move and sew them back together. To sew these back together, I'm going to go to Edge, and then we'll just select some edges and see which pieces should go with what, and I've selected this one here, and I can see its corresponding edge over here. I'll choose Move and Sew from my menu bar up there in the UV Texture Editor, and that will attach that one. And then we'll choose Move and Sew to do the other one. And it looks like that piece will go there. Let's Move and Sew that. Gonna guess that one will go to the other side. Move and Sew that. And it looks like they kind of fit right at the end there. Let's see if we've got anything else. Ah, we can put something right there. That's gonna work nicer. Let's Move and Sew. Grab that. And Move and Sew that. And now that gives us our exploded foot all laid out two-dimensionally. I'll select it all. 
go to unfold and just give that a little bit of a smooth just to ensure that I have good UVs. Let's continue. Let's go back out to our crow and let's do the head now. I'm going to select all of these faces here for the head. Got some extras there. I'll deselect those. And I really only need to do the UVs for half of the model. We can actually mirror any existing UVs over to the other side. So for the head, I'll deselect one half of it, leaving me a pretty simple projection. And we're going to use a planar projection on that. And I'll just take a quick look at my world axis there, and it looks like I'll be projecting in the X. I'll choose Create UVs, Planar Mapping, choose the X axis, and choose Project. Frame that up. I'm going to grab my Move tool, and we'll just slide this out. And let's do a UV Smooth. And just reselect those, UV Smooth, and do Unfold. That looks pretty good. We can leave that, and let's see the next part of our object to do. Uh, let's tackle the tail. We'll do the same method here. We'll select all of the pieces to the tail, but only worry about half of it. We could do the tail in a couple different ways. I think we'll just end up doing a planar projection on it. We'll just project that in the X, just like we did for the head. And this will probably be a little bit messy, but not too bad. And let's select that shell, move it out. And we're probably going to have to cut this right along the back there, since we do have this whole piece that goes along. I'm going to select the edges there that make that up. And again, I got some extra edges. I don't care about those since we haven't projected any of that. And let's cut those edges off. And then we'll go to UV. Select my UV Smooth tool. Let's try that again. We'll select that. Let's do a select shell. Grab our UV Smooth and unfold. Yeah, and that unfolds nicely. Move that off and let's unfold then that back piece. And we could probably then put this back onto our model. Scales a little off. I'm going to scale it up so that I can see it. And let's just bring that up a little higher there. And we'll find where this should attach back. Looks like it could go right along there. We don't really want that one in. We'll just take it from right there. Move and sew. Select it all. And unfold. And we'll frame that up. That's a pretty big piece there. We could probably change this configuration around a little bit. I think I've got the wrong edge sewn on there. Let's just take a look. I think I'd rather try to get that, get that piece to lay flat on the other side. That's going to be a lot better. So I'll go in and select the edges right along this area, and I'll deselect those out there. And I just really want that edge loop that's going along right there, and we'll cut, and then select the edge right next to it, and we'll do a move and sew to flip that over there. Looks like we could even flip it over to the other side. Either way, should be fine. I'll once again select all of those UVs. And we'll just do a little unfold on it. Just to soften that out. Looks pretty good. Alright. I think that'll take care of the tail. And now we can move on to the body which should be the last remaining part of this half of our character. So to select those faces that have been not mapped yet, I'll grab all of the faces that I have mapped, and we're still in our Unfold tool, so let's just back out of that. I'll hit the Select button, and then we'll go to Faces and select all of that. 
And there we go. We get all of the body unmapped and, of course, the entire other side. We'll do our shift select, which will give me an invert. And then we can deselect all of those faces for the other side. That will just leave the body remaining. Let's go ahead and we'll do a planar projection in the X. All of our same tools are still set up for us there. And we'll project. Pull this out into empty space. Go to UV. Select all the UVs. And we do have some overlapping UVs right there. We're getting that purplish color. I'm going to select all my UVs and do an unfold, and let's see what we get. See if that's going to give us a problem or not. And it doesn't. That actually works out really nice. But we do end up with some overlap going back to the body. And that looks like where the wing would have opened up there. So I'll just separate these two. We don't need to keep these together right now. Also, too, we'll probably end up taking this top piece when we mirror all our UVs over. We'll just merge this one to the back of the other side and this one to the front of the other side, uh, this being kind of the breast of the bird and this is the back of the bird. So these will eventually kind of come back together onto other pieces. So they'll make for nice UV shells once we mirror over. So we'll cut that and we'll grab our move UV shell and just pull that off. There we go. And what we're left with is just a bunch of junk UVs. I'll just select all those faces there, all those UVs, and you can see we have a perfect split of our model. And we've got all of these UVs over here mapped out nicely.